Goal setting is dead. In this video, I'm going to share with you why goal setting is dead and how you can solve this problem. So today we're living in a distraction era. We have so much distraction coming in and we know through science that approximately 50% of our brain's efforts and consumption of energy is used for our vision. So if you think about that for a moment, what are we using for our vision today? How much distraction comes through our eyes? It's our environment. What's around our room? What do we have? Is it clean and organized or is it cluttered and full of stuff? And it keeps drawing our attention that you must look after paying something or cleaning something or putting something away. If you have an environment like that, it is a distraction filled space and it's going to get your attention. That's the critical factor here. If you set goals, but your attention is being taken somewhere else because of other things, other distractions, clutter and disorganized thoughts and things, then you're going to get taken in that direction. You're going to be pulled in that direction. It's going to rob you of your attention. If you think about it, we have words today, acronyms actually, FOMO. FOMO is fear of missing out. Why do we have FOMO? Well, because people didn't want to miss out on things. So they go on social networks and they check all these messages all the time. They see what other people are doing. They do not want to miss out. Really? Does that matter? I mean, does it matter if you missed out on something? If you didn't watch that series that you watch on Thursday nights and talk to your friends about it the next day or the weekend, does that matter? So we created a term FOMO for it. And because we're given attention to FOMO, that keeps expanding. We could also give attention to JOMO, which is the joy of missing out. So how about you think about the joy of missing out versus the fear of missing out. And instead you design your life around that, then you would be moving towards your goals. Then you would feel good about what you're doing. Then you would assess and determine whether you should say yes or no. And by the way, we live in a yes mindset society. Everybody says yes, even if they mean to say no. You know what I mean? There's times when somebody asks you to do something and you say yes. And then afterwards it's like, Oh, wow. You know, that's going to cost me a lot of time or energy or effort, or I, I don't know if I feel like I want to do that. And then you might have, uh, you know, some, some, uh, hesitation about it and you might decide not to do it or go against it. Uh, you know, that's, that's why when people buy things, oftentimes they start rethinking about it afterwards because they buy with emotions and then they realize afterwards, mm, I don't know if that was the right thing or not. My emotions were high. Why? Because the person who was speaking to me got into my emotions, got into my, my excitement, my joy. And, and now I made a decision. So we live in this society where we say yes, rather than no. And we say, and we say yes, so easy. And we should learn to say no just as well as we say yes, but we don't. So we say yes, and then we get taken on a path, a pattern. And notice that we're, this is a pattern because it becomes patterns of thought, patterns of action, patterns of inaction, patterns of dissatisfaction. These are the kinds of things that we keep creating and recreating over and over and over again. And we don't recognize that. So then we don't hit our goals. And then what do we do? We feel bad. And when we feel bad, we start thinking about how that went wrong and what we could have done better and so on. So now we're living in the past instead of living in the future. If we don't have a future mindset, if we're not thinking about the future and the potential of our future, then we're stuck in the past. That means our future is predictable. Get, I'll say that again. Our future is predictable. If we're only thinking about what we know and what we've experienced and what didn't work and what we should have done, then we're just reliving that and repeating that in our future. It doesn't produce any better results. It doesn't get you any closer to your goals. So that's, that's another thing that you have to keep in mind is how can you be more disciplined? And we live in a, a, a scattered mindset society as well. Not many of us are disciplined. Why? Because we weren't born into a, a family that had values, principles, standards, sense of morality. We don't have those things. 
And we don't even have that in our government and our leadership in the corporations. None of them do. Why? Because they break the rules, they take money when they shouldn't have, and you know they do all sorts of things that aren't good for the whole, aren't good for everybody, but they do it anyway. Um, you know, and here's another thing too. Psychologically, through brain science, and Atomic Habits is an awesome book by James Clear, talks about this. And so, if you think about your habits, we are reward-seeking beings. We are seeking rewards all the time. We're always looking out to see what's next, what can we do, what's going to bring us some sense of joy, because that's what really we want. We have six emotions, only two of them that we really want and like, joy and Happiness, right? Joy is joy and excitement, sorry. So joy and excitement. So if we're not getting joy and excitement, then we're experiencing other things, fear and doubt and worry and all those types of things, sadness, and you know, we're not feeling good. And if we're not feeling good, then we're not going to move towards our goals. This is all intertwined. You know, if you have so many things competing for your attention all the time, you have things on your phone and your phone at one point the phone was used for just communicating now it's used for everything you can use it for banking and all sorts of things you know zoom chats and all sorts of so many things you can do everything you can almost live off of your phone and nothing else you don't even need a computer anymore but the fact is it's all competing for your attention and then you might have family so you have a you have extended family you have brothers and sisters fathers and mothers and you also have your maybe your children and then you have friends, and then you have colleagues and community. You have all these things competing for your attention all the time. And they're pulling on your attention and you have to be able to say no to everything. And in fact, I recommend you say no to everything up front and then assess it afterwards, then determine whether you're going to say yes. So coming back to the main topic here though is goal setting is dead. Why? Because when you set goals and you don't practice the discipline to moving towards, uh, the thought discipline to move towards them and then keep your attention on that and let everything else go, let the distractions go, then you're not going to hit your goal. And if you keep reflecting on the past and you reflect on the things that you didn't do and the resentments, then you're moving away from your goal. You're going to keep moving away from it instead of moving towards it with your thoughts, with your actions, with your attention. Your attention matters. What you give attention to grows. And you need to have intention as well. So when you have intention and give it attention and you keep giving it consistent attention and looking for the results, the evidence, the things that are working, then you feel good. And as long as you feel good, you'll keep stepping in that direction. If you don't feel good, you will back off, you'll hold back, you'll hesitate. And that's why goal setting is dead. It doesn't work. I have so many clients that set goals, don't achieve them, and they get upset. And even if I have accountability, and it's because of what they're practicing in between, their habits, and where they're giving attention, and how distracted they are. So you can get a hold of this. And I made a video on this where you can get more control over this. I'll put it in the link below. You can watch that. But if you want to get more control, and you want to have more focus, you need a system. You need a method. You need the method, you need the mindset, and you need the motivation. I have a method. I'll give that to you below. You can check it out. It's called the 12-week year system. 12 week focus productivity system. You can use that and implement it and use it for your business if you have one and your life and make a change. All right, you've got this and I've got your back. Speak soon.